Hello, 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 guys! Welcome back to the Matrix of Life. And uh, this evening, I decided to answer one of your questions. I am asked so often. A um, lot of you writing me to my email or Instagram and asking me, "Are you laying cards for yourself?" And in this video, I'm gonna talk about. Uh, this type of reading when you try to predict uh, your own future with cards or laying cards for yourself from the position and point of tarot reader I will answer you and then I will give you some tips if you're just a beginner if you just start studying tarot and need some guidance I will give you some tips how to improve this process how to do it in a right way to pull cards for yourself as for me I can't recall when it was the last time when I asked cards something for myself why so because I don't need it I am already living so much in the flow as you know for for more than 10 years I am studying symbolism learning this and to me it's already enough to read some signs and events and I'm studying karmic laws and together symbolism plus karmic laws knowledge of karmic laws makes for me so easy to to understand to navigate in my reality and to make decisions to go right or left choose this offer or say no to that offer i don't need to pull cards to see the outcome because i am already living in the flow i am reading all signs related to this situation or that person and I simply don't need to ask cards. And please remember, we never asking cards because of curiosity. It's not a tool to play if you will be asking cards only because you're curious about something, you're not in a really, really difficult situation. Then, first of all, cards might not say might not respond in a proper way to you or another even worse um, they they gonna predict you something really bad okay so keep this in mind we only turn in to cards when we um not able to read signs our angels and universe send into us and please 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 i am explaining in another video on in this playlist matrix and magic i'm explaining how can you communicate to your guardian angel and ask for a sign but still i am seeing a lot of people emailing me and asking if they interpret this or that sign right or not and i'm seeing so many mistakes when in my eyes it's the most easier way to communicate with universe so i'm living in the flow i am reading signs I almost not laying cards for myself. I really can't recall when when was the last time I needed to to ask cards something for myself, not for my clients. And to me as well, all clients who come into me with their questions is like a, as well as a mirror and some sort of karmic sign, which helping me to correct my direction of development or, or where I'm moving if I need it so uh, no I am not laying cards for myself I am not laying cards for myself guys asking about my future I don't need it I simply don't need it but a lot of beginners who just start in this where are they gonna um, take 50 clients for to practice to master at least one spread where they will get them of course they will be very often laying cards for themselves maybe to to check and to see something here we go 
uh, difficulties you might face when you lay in cards for yourself, when you ask in cards. Uh, first of all, majority of you simply uh, don't know cards. It's 78 cards in the deck. And for each card you need to know at least minimum three situational meanings. Memorize it. A lot of you don't know this. You follow in book, you all the time turn into the book, opening it, reading what does this or that card mean. Uh, and uh, in a lot of such books, they not in only one side, one meaning of the cards, maximum two, like um, straight and reversed position in a right and upright position so uh, and that's two but for <laughs> for both of these two you need to know three like you need to know at least minimum three meanings of one card in upright position and in reversed position three meanings as well uh, to navigate cards freely the next uh, emotional involvement when you lay in cards for yourself you might notice that when you're in a good mood when you're optimistic or um, positive you pull in cards which are positive as well and predicting you bright future and great outcomes which if you write down your forecast with time frames and wait and check until it's come true it's never comes true for yourself but when you in good mood you pull in this sort of cards when you are in bad mood you gonna pull something dramatic and another side of this situation when you pull in cards um for yourself and trying to read them it's very difficult for you to stay like in not involved um let me explain a friend of mine bought a tarot deck and she laid cards for herself and her relationship and there was three of swords ten of swords and tower at the moment she pulled these cards, everything was just fine in her relationship, from her, partner, from her point of view. Everything was fine, quiet, uh, peaceful, and just super. And she explained it like, uh, she read it, like, we're very depressed, um, might be because of quarantine, Something might upset us, so this lockdown, um, or, or maybe neighbors gonna do some shit to us. But she was asking, uh, initially, she was asking to um, cards about the uh, development of their relationship. Not about what the neighbors are planning, but she shifted her mind, just like a lot of you when you communicate into your um, spirit guides and angels. You write in me that I asked for a sign uh, to hear this word uh, for 24 hours, uh, but then I have seen a dream and I heard this word in a dream. Does it count as a sign? Guys, of course, no. Of course, no, it doesn't count as a sign because you all focus concentrated on, on question you're asking about. And when you see this word in a night dream, when you hear in this word in a night dream, that's already paranoia. That's not a sign. It's already over focusing on, on your issue and uh, wanting something so desperately. Uh, that you try and you know like to 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 jump like on last chance uh, to jump into last carriage 
um, before the train, before train leaving the station. No, of course it's not a sign. Why even need to ask such question? Of course it's not a sign. But for many of you, such easy things when you, when it's about yourself. For you, you sort of like blinded. You navigating in a fog like this hedgehog in a fog. Because you emotionally involved in a situation. Of course, she started uh, searching for excuses. Like, oh, maybe when I was shuffling cards, I thought about our neighbors. They're gonna do some shit to, to us. Maybe they're planning something. In a few months later, um, her boyfriend confessed that he cheated on her. He said her this straightforward that he, he cheated on her. But when you emotionally involved in situation and laying cards for yourself, you misinterpret them. Or sometimes when you emotionally Involved, you might pull some really bad um, cards, like related to health, and instead of treating this wisely, you start experiencing this sleepless nights. You start reading Wikipedia, finding finding symptoms of different diseases, rare diseases within yourself. Start start seeing horror dreams, and so on, so on. Instead of of uh, Possessing this information in the right way, you start in this like over involving yourself in situation. So that's why not recommend it. I wouldn't recommend to pull cards for yourself if you really want to solve a problem, not boil in this problem. Let me. Um, draw a parallel with this um, sort of experiment or tale. If you put frog into boiling water, frog gonna just jump out and uh, she will uh, stay alive. Problem solved, okay? This is when you get in reading from someone else. But if you will start playing cards for yourself, for your problem, you will be like uh, they put frog uh, in a pot with cold water, with normal water, and put it um, on a stove and start heating this water slowly. And frog was spending her energy changing her body temperature to adjust to conditions of to environmental conditions she spends this energy to adjust and when water started boiled her energy was so drained because she was constantly adjusting to condition in this pot of water that no forces left no energy left for finally jumping out of the water and she died and same when you are laying cards for yourself so just decide which kind of frog you wanna be who was put in this boiled water and jumped and saved her life or you want to boil in this because i know a lot of you you start why they keep telling do not um pull cards often for yourself. I know a lot of girls, especially teenagers, who almost daily asking, uh, they almost daily asking freaking, um, uh, what's gonna happen, how my day will go, how my week will go, uh, how my new crush feeling about me. They can't, they, they, they doing this like, for themselves five six spreads a day that's insane even those who are doing one spread a day that's insane guys you should understand when my grandpa trained me to to pull cards usually which questions were never pulling for myself remember he was my teacher 
and that's really smart. Never like, hey, what's gonna be with you today? Let's let's pull cards. No, teaching wasn't this way. What are we doing the next way, Kate? Try to predict what's gonna be on news, on TV news today. And later when, uh, at the evening, family all together, we were listening to some news, we were seeing, is it in alignment with energy I put or not? How much I tapped into these energies. But I wasn't asking, uh, what's gonna happen with me today? No, no, he was trained me this way. Uh, so guys, I don't know what to say to you, those of you who lay in cards for yourself, uh, like insane rabbit in Alice Wonderland, really don't know. Remember this example with a frog, what you doing to yourself. You trying, uh, you spend investing your energy to adjust to, to, to the temperature in a pot, but when it's about solving real problem and making this jump, you drained. You have no energy to solve your problem. Keep this in mind, please. Now, next. For those of you who still, yes, there are such situations when, when you need to ask cards about your own situation. So, uh, here... How I was taught in my tradition, I understand there are a lot of different readers in, but in my tradition, I was taught this way and I'm finding this effective. So I want to share with you. Uh, try to use my advice and see a difference in outcomes and, and, and how you will be reading cards, okay? Whenever uh, you go into shuffle for yourself and pull some cards, take a mirror. This should be brand new mirror, like um, size, mm, I think 15, 18 centimeters on mm, tw 12, 15, something like this. Um, not very big, it's just usual girl's uh, mirror. Of course, if you have really big table with a mirror, it will be nice to use, but um, the um, defect here, this should be a mirror no one else in, in, in the house looking at, and it's really difficult condition to fulfill this. So you buy a mirror, you cleanse in it. Um, how I am cleansing it? Well, I will be maybe sharing at my future tarot course, which I'm working on. Let's say, not even working at, but I'm making some notes, some plans on how I will be sharing information structure. And as well, I'm sharing here for free videos, but there will be paid videos. Uh, for those who want to learn tarot from me, there will be paid videos. Uh, I have my system, how I am cleansing mirrors, uh, when I am buying this mirror, why I am buying during this time period this mirror. So you buying yourself a mirror at which no one else will be looking at. And for you better as well to buy some bag really nice fancy bag for this mirror to put it there after reading is performed to keep it there so no one looking it next thing you do are you preparing a space you taking this mirror out whenever you laying cards for yourself and this is actually how i am doing when i'm doing for myself spread you put in this mirror in front of you at the table this to create uh, such energy field as you reading for yourself, but same time not for yourself, like for your energetical twin. And this is a really, really smart and important thing to do. Next thing to do, two candles. I'm, I will be explaining at my 
um, tarot course why two candles how to light them uh, how to blow them in the right way and why so most important when you taking any tarot course any because plenty of tarot schools nowadays but when you taking any tarot course you should always get answers why why mirror why this size of mirror why bottom these dates why two candles you your teachers must know um answers they must know this information if you asking them and they don't know they they tell them that this is passed to them um uh, families who have magical traditions who were practitioners who were readers for generations they pass in this knowledge with explanation why we are doing this and that as electricians um, when they teach electricians they explain that you wearing the silicon gloves for you in order for you not to be heated by electricity they explaining in any um process they not just blindly following they explaining you why you should do this and that but not this and that and if you find yourself with a teacher and a school where they not explaining the most important question they telling you uh take this and this herbs and I cleanse with this and that groups um, and this and this time and they're not explaining you why the hell you need to do this and uh, what will happen if you will do this an hour later or what will happen if you will burn it um, like with camphor you shouldn't burn it uh, in your house for more than 15 minutes and if they're not explaining you why you shouldn't burn it more than then guys you just wasted your money in a vein with a very wrong teacher who heard here and there copy paste this and here i am i heard something there something here i don't know why i can't explain if because when you know why this and that when you see all the correlations you know what will happen if you will change something it's like with baking with recipes okay you should know you must know why you adding this and that much of sugar or this and that uh, much of eggs my aunt she loves to bake so much and she can explain you what's gonna change if you put one egg glass into the dove and why you shouldn't do this or why why would what will happen if you put two more eggs and not without balancing it with a floor and everything 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 you should know why not just blindly following some tarot monkey cycles them who just heard here pick their banana here banana there coconut they grab it everything here i am great tarot reader no uh, always please always wherever you will be learning this craft always ask your teachers why we doing this why we not doing that what what's gonna change if i change what's gonna change if for example i will just pull put a mirror without burning the candles and start reading for myself what's gonna change i can answer this question guys and i will be answering these questions at my tarot course Mm, but you please when choosing your teacher please please keep this in mind check your teacher this way to get very best information because tarot is very serious thing you shouldn't mess up uh, mess up with tarot okay i hope it's understandable uh next oh uh, finally reading cards and as i said when you put uh, cards for yourself you should be like you should be honest with yourself let's say yeah 
without that cards read my mind in the middle of the way after I already uh, made the question settled in my mind then change into neighbor situationship and here I will give a life hack for for some readers uh, sometimes I find it more effective or let's say equally effective because sometimes I need a quick answer really really quick answer to something sometimes not often uh, and to me to go to pull mirror to light right candles it's you know sometimes it's problematic okay what I am doing I am choosing uh, some terror reader channel which I respect of course opening any spread love spread whatsoever spread questions there doesn't matter because i have my own question i am uh, looking which card she put there in this spread and i am start interpreting them sometimes this is gonna work you can try both ways uh, this way i'm suggesting you suggesting you because we live in you know in a modern world a very mobile world when for some of you might be problematic to find time alone to make proper reader reading for yourself and uh, this was my case when i um was living in dormitory when i was a student three more girls in a room just imagine this situation how the hell i supposed to pull a mirror from a bag with three extra girls in a room light candles and pull cards for myself of course I had no way to do this okay so I was going to YouTube channels of readers I respect I have some respect to opening the video any question any love and you meet love how should doesn't matter choosing a pile scene cards not listening to her i was turning off the sound what she's blah 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 turning off the sound watching cards she laid making my own notes interpret this for myself uh, this for those people who uh, have no opportunity to find time alone to to prepare mirror to prepare candles but of course i i love this old fashioned way and tarot cards say um, respect this way more because it's very ancient instrument tarot cards but for those of you who are very modern very mobile quick um, this is a solution it, it will be much better than you start pulling cards for yourself from your deck without mirror this way will be much more effective and for those of you who are practitioners um i'm telling you try to make a reading just as i recommend uh, fulfill at least minimal conditions of course at my course i will be revealing more uh, details because details is what matters but still brand new mirror cleansed um kept in a bag uh, far away from sight of other people two candles do this make a reading for yourself you will see huge huge difference you can make an experiment i don't you know uh, favorite phrase of my teachers like don't trust us go check yourself don't trust in what uh, we are saying don't believe us go check it yourself and that's my approach as well uh, go check yourself uh, make a reading as you usually do which I call brainless reading pull, just pull something how you used to wherever you sit at and some people even doing it on a bed it's a, another very stupid story mm, as well where are you doing a reading um, do it your way same question okay write down results outcome then uh, another day not same day another day do it my way 
got yourself a mirror, cleanse it, two candles, same question, shuffle cards, write it down, interpret. Keep this uh, and set time frames, please, for this, like um, two months from now, like one month from now. And after two or one month, just compare outcomes of both readings and then come back here to comments and share your experience i will be glad to hear from you guys i always do okay hope to see you in my next videos if you love tarot as i do if you if you love karma if you love different esoteric stuff if you're explorer if you want to join me on my journey don't forget to Hit subscribe button and notifications uh, and stay connected in the comments. Bye-bye, guys.